Hello everybody, today we are doing something very special. We are going to be demonstrating the Chestnut Moves capability with AI board vision. What does that mean? Well, over the last uh, two weeks be between my last video and this demonstration video, I was able to borrow an iPad. Now, I'm an Android user, I don't use iOS, and most of the more advanced features for the Chestnut Move are only available right now to iOS. Once the board is out of pre-order and they, the company starts shipping these boards out to all of you, all of the customers, both the Android and the iOS app will both be able to do the exact same things. But right now, as this board is still just a prototype, um, the iOS app is the only one that can do everything. So I needed to borrow this and I was able to get a hold of this for an afternoon. So I'm gonna film some videos and show you guys what we're able to do. So what we need to do first is go to online match. Now we're gonna see three different options. We're going to see leechess.org, chess.com, and live. So we're gonna to go to live, and then I'm going to go to some of the current games, and I'm gonna sort by classical. And let's choose a game that's been going on for a little bit. Let's do this one right here. And now, this position right now is being scanned, and the board is now going to set up that position on the board surface. So, here we go. Clean up the board a little bit. Cool thing too, is like, the board just set up this king. <laughs> if I move it over there, it will read that and it's gonna move it back. First it looks like it's gonna go for everything else. And then it's going to move my king back to where it should be. I'm just messing with the board right now. There we go. King goes back. I'm going to mess with the king again. Nope, oh, and here comes the king. I can adjust the centering of pieces if I want to. I don't know why there's a pawn here. Oh, it was out of the way for the bishop. Okay. And there we are. So let's check and see the accuracy of... Oh, wait, hold on. Black just caffled. So we're looking here at this position. So it just castled. Castling takes a little bit of time. Okay. So this is the position that we're looking at. This is the same position that's on the board surface. So last move was to move the knight there. There's a couple of moves being played right now. Trouble is, if I show you guys here, you can't really see this. Oh, I believe that was the last capture. So something that the chestnut team should take a look at that I was noticing is when a piece is highlighted as the last move, the board doesn't read that as the move that needs to be played which is a little bit weird, and the position right now, the live position is this. The board position is this. The only move that needs to be played is bringing the knight, or bringing the pawn here. So I just manually moved it. Let's see if the board drags it back. I don't think it will. What happens if I play the wrong move? What's it gonna do? We might need to wait for it to play a move, or for one of the players to play a move. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it does. So we just had this pawn should be moving right there. I don't know what I did. I might have confused the board by doing that because it's not playing the moves. Oh, I think my Bluetooth got disconnected. That's why. Bluetooth was disconnected. Let me reconnect that. That would explain what's going on here. Okay. Just reconnect it. Okay. We are back in business. Sorry, I don't know why it disconnected. So what it should be doing right now is scanning the board position that we have here on the screen. Unless I need to refresh the page. 
refresh. Here we go. Come on, chestnut move. Show me what you got. I guess I could try toggling back to the game. Just reselect it. There we go. Okay, so I just clicked on one of the player's profiles and I went back to the live game. Just because uh, the, the reason why that happened was the Bluetooth disconnected. Okay, let's see if I can still mess with it. If I say, ooh, bishop there, what's it going to do? Because that's not the position on the board here. Let's see if it'll fix that. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, what I did wrong here is the board is oriented the other way. So it's, it's trying to put all the black pieces on my side and all the white pieces on that side. How do I switch the colors? It might be too late. Oops, no. Ah, I'm messing this all up. Okay. What have I done? Oh, great. I think I confused it. <laughs> I think I just swapped the colors again. Oh, boy. What did I do? All right, a move was just played. All right, so what it's doing again is, <laughs> I am messing with this board so much. I keep switching the, the size of the colors here. So because white is on my side right now from looking at the screen, that's what it's trying to set up on the board for me. And I just switched this twice on it, so it's, it's all backwards. Well, good news is the position will be set up momentarily, and then we're gonna see what it can do. But it's kind of cool watching this, so I'm just going to let this play out so you guys can see how it moves the pieces. Also, something good to note is that these pieces are not fully charged right now. They only got charged for about an hour and a half, and I think they were completely empty. So, speed-wise, they're doing great, and they've been driving a lot. Not just in this video, but... Um, I've attempted to film this video a couple times and I was having camera issues and then um, I got confused and messed up the recording so I restarted it again. So these pieces have been driving around quite a bit. Alright, here's our position. This is what the board should look like right here. So, last move, the knight moved here. The only thing about this live vision right now is that because of the highlighting, the highlighted square issue is that that move didn't play until white played their next move because the board is not able to read these highlighted squares for some reason. But as soon as black plays the next move, this knight is going to move down. So as soon as black does something, this knight's coming here. Black just played, so the knight goes there. So... If the Chestnut team is watching this video, please update that and fix that so that the highlighted move also plays, because that is what the position is on the board. Like this pawn moving here, it's not happened yet, because white's going to have to play another move coming up here in a second, so... Um, but yeah, that's how it works. It works really fast, which is something I'm very pleased to see. The move is played online, the board plays the move in maybe a second. It's rather quick, so let's see if it if they could play one more move. And then it should demonstrate the next thing. So I'll show you guys what I'm looking at here. These are just two random players. I don't know who they are. I just went to Lee Chess, then Lee Chess TV, and played them. Okay. Knight moved, and there goes the pawn. So that's really fast. It's like a second or two, and then that piece moves itself. 
So right now, again, we're waiting for black to play a move, and then this knight is going to move over here. That knight's going to go up here. Wait and watch and see what happens. Actually, let me put this on the other side. The action is going to happen over here anyway. I wonder what happens if I mess up a piece again. Can I confuse it? I've tried twice already and it didn't work. Let's just put the queen like over here. Queen is not supposed to be there. So I would expect that the board drives it back. Okay, so the knight went there and now it's sending the queen back. Okay, so the board doesn't fix the issue immediately, but as soon as the next move is played, then it's going to rescan the board and it's going to play the move again and make sure the whole position is correct. So I think that's a very good thing actually is the board is scanning the position. It's not scanning to see what the next move is. That way, if a piece is, you know, in the wrong spot, as soon as the next move is played, it rescans all the pieces go to where they need to be. So black's next move is bringing the queen here. And then I just moved this pawn up three squares. Move was just played on the app. So now it is correcting itself. That's what we see right here. And now the position is correct. Next move displayed on the app is queen takes the knight. Just waiting for a response from the player right here. Queen moves. So there we see the capture. And then the white queen will be coming here on the next move. So this is how the live game play works. Um, I guess I could try a faster game too, because it's moving really fast. If you go too quick, it's probably going to have issues keeping up. The Chestnut team had emailed me and said, uh, if you're going to do a demonstration, do it with the classical time control because it's slow enough that you can follow what's happening and it's going to make a lot more sense. If everything is moving and the board is trying to keep up with a really fast game, it's probably going to look pretty chaotic. But because I really like to try that, I want to see how chaotic it'll get. Let's go for... Let's try a blitz game, why not? Let's do a game with a little bit more time. So, this is, looks like a, a 3-0 game, no increment. So they just started their game. International Master playing against a 2600 rated player. Alright, so the board just scanned it. It's not scanning with the app, in case you're wondering. There's no camera scanning it, it's just the board seeing where everything is. So right now we're seeing this position here get set up. And they're playing really fast right now. Like they're flying. They're out of the opening already. Oh, there we are. The whole position set up. The only thing missing is a pawn push. There it is. Let me see if you guys can see it if I... Here's what I'm going to do. While this is working, I'm going to just slide this over. I'm going to put this right here. And then... I'm just going to put the stand under it so you guys can see what's happening. So the game's over here. Timer, you can... Somewhat see. And we're watching the game play out live. We guys can see that.
So as you can see here, the board is working as fast as it can to keep up. But these players are pre-moving a lot. And even as just watching the game, like I'm not even playing out the moves. I'm just watching the position on the app and trying to keep up with the game. It's going pretty fast and it does get challenging to keep up, especially with all the pre-moves. So I'm actually pretty happy with how the board is responding here. Obviously it is very quick. So if you do want to do a live demonstration and you want to have, you know, you can set this out on your table and you could just have a game live playing. And the cool thing is that if you go to Lee Chess TV, there's always a game going. As soon as this game is done, it'll switch to the next game. And it could be different players and the board will reset the position for you and we'll play out a new game. So as long as you're, as long as your board is charged, and as long as the pieces are charged, you could set this on your table and you could be having a party going on and this board would just be playing out all the moves of the game and you could have people sit down, you could watch a game. But definitely go with a slower time control so that if anybody does sit down, you can follow along. The moves are played slow enough that anybody sitting and watching can easily keep up. Oh, and we have a winner. The game is over. <laughs> Wow, that was quick. So there we have it. Uh, International Master ran out of time and lost the game. So this was just a quick demonstration of how this works. Well, I say quick, this was like an 18 minute long video. I know it seemed a little bit hectic and a little bit crazy, but I did that on purpose because I wanted you guys to see how the board actually works. And I didn't want to prep everything ahead of time. I wanted to just try it on camera and let you guys see how does it work what are some of the quirks you know what are the issues i encounter what things work really well but do do give the company some grace i didn't fully study everything that i needed to do i didn't know where everything was on the app uh, so i may have messed things up a little bit so that's on me that's not on the board but this should give you guys a pretty good idea of how the live game vision works and i think it works really really well the only thing is that the highlighted move for the last move played is not recognized by the board as a move, so the board doesn't play it. Right now, this was actually the final position. But it's it's close enough, it's just one move behind. So if you do set this up, and especially if you're watching a classical game, it's not gonna matter a whole lot because you're going to see a position that is pretty much live. However, I will be emailing the Chestnut Company and letting them know, hey, the highlighted moves, we need to see those on the board. That is a move that was played. And if we want to watch a game live, we want to see that last move. So I'll let them know. Um, other than that, if you would like to pre-order this board during a pre-order time, you can save 20% on your order by using the code CHESSU-C316. So by doing that, you are supporting me and the videos that I'm producing. So thank you very, very much. All right, um, that is it for this video. In the next video, I will be playing a game on chess.com a live gameplay demonstration. So make sure you subscribe so that you will not miss that video. And I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.